Namaste, my name is Omar, and today we will be practicing a power vinyasa flow sequence without too much setting up. So we're gonna be flowing, we're going to be sweating. If you have a towel, I do recommend having one for this class. Also a bottle of water in case you do need to hydrate. So please take care and be very mindful of your alignment. I have a few other videos on the class, so if you do want to go back and check into those videos, that's where we do set up a little bit more. But in this sequence, we are just going to be flowing. So let's begin by turning our attention inwards and setting up into a child's pose just to really turn our attention more internal and to begin deepening our breath. Remember to engage in Ujjayi Pranayama throughout this sequence. That's a deep, very mindful breath through the nose and out through the nose. So we'll settle in here, letting go of any external thoughts letting go of anything that exists outside of the four corners of our mats. Now, as we settle into our practice, begin to open your palms to the sky. Then by bringing your palms together, in prayer pose, bend at the elbow and bring the thumbs towards the nape of your neck. This will really open up your triceps, begin to open up your shoulders as we sit back on our hips. We can begin flowing a little bit by bringing our hands down and back to the nape of our necks. Really starting to open up our shoulders and stretch our tricep muscles. As we're flowing up and down, on the last one, hold it back at the nape of your neck, finding full extension. Now bringing your palms back down to the ground and making our way up to a tabletop position. In tabletop, we are sure to have our hands under our shoulders and we begin to undulate into a cat-cow with our breath, inhaling as we lift our chest and exhaling as we tuck and turn our tailbone. So be mindful here of utilizing your entire core as we find some articulation to our spine. Coming back to tabletop, tucking our toes under and lifting into our downward facing dog. And our hands are spread wide. Our gaze is going back between our legs. As this may be your first downward dog of the day, Feel free to pedal out those heels as you find some length to your hamstrings. Take a few deep breaths here. On your next inhale, bend your knees and lightly make it to the top of the mat. Feet at hip width distance. Fold over, coming into a rag doll position. Swaying from side to side. Moving your weight from the balls of your feet to your heels. Release your hands and slowly roll one vertebrae at a time all the way to the top. 
with your head being the last thing to come up. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, baby back bend, chest to the sky. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, back bend. Remember, it's more about your chest lifting to the sky. Inhale up. Exhale, back bend. Our next inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, fold over all the way, hands down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your palms, stepping back into high plank position. High plank lowers down halfway and presses back up. Lower down halfway. Exhale up. Take a deep breath here and into your downward facing dog. We will flow together doing those vinyasa moves. It's warming up our spine initially here. So coming from down dog to high plank, realize that our hands and feet remain where they are. Back to down dog, to plank. One more time, down dog, to plank. Taking a deep breath here, lower down halfway, flip the tops of your feet, straighten your arms into upward facing dog. Coming back to downward facing dog. Inhale, bend your knees. Exhale, lightly travel to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, samastitihi. Inhale up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your palms, step back, lower halfway, inhale, upward facing dog, exhale, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath here, let it out. Inhale, bend your knees, exhale, travel to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant, either step or jump back. High plank, lower halfway. Inhale, up. Exhale, downward facing dog. One breath in. Let it out. Inhale, bend your knees. Lightly travel to the top. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant and step back. Lower halfway, inhale up, exhale downward facing dog. Now take a few moments in downward facing dog here. Take a few breaths at your own pace. And keep in mind when we're flowing from posture to posture, the idea is to transition very gracefully from one move to the next. So keep that in mind and be mindful of that as we flow. We're going to change our sequence from here. Inhale, bend your knees. Exhale, top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, samastitihi. Inhaling into a chair pose. So sitting back into our chair, taking a deep breath here. Exhale, lean and fly. Inhale up, exhale, lean and fly. 
One more inhale up and dive over, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant, step or jump back. Lower halfway down. Inhale up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale your right leg high, right knee to right elbow. Inhale high, right knee to left elbow. Inhale high, knee to nose, curl here. Inhale high, step it through to low lunge. Inhale up. Exhale, eagle your arms, left arm under right. Inhale, baby back bend. Exhale, humble warrior. Inhale, baby back bend. Humble warrior. Last time, inhale up. Humble warrior. Release your arms, pivot your back heel into warrior legs and open into warrior two. Finding your setup here, take a deep breath, lean forward, open to extended side angle. Keeping that deep lunge, inhale to reverse, exhale extended side. Inhale reverse, exhale extended side. Keeping that deep, deep lunge, inhale reverse, and then cartwheel our hands, framing the foot, stepping back, lowering halfway, inhale, upward facing dog, exhale, downward facing dog. Left side, left leg high, left to left. Left leg high, left to right. Left leg high, knee to nose, tuck and curl here. Inhale high, step it through to low lunge. Again, find alignment, inhale up, right arm under left, eagle arms. Inhale, baby back bend, exhale, humble. Inhale up, exhale, curl. One more, inhale up. Exhale, curl, pivot the back heel, release the arms, open up into your warrior two. Taking a deep breath here, coming into extended side angle. Keeping the deep lunge, reverse, extended side angle, flow through this. Take a few breaths flowing from your reverse, to your extended side angle, all the while keeping that nice deep lunge in our legs. Last one, back. And cartwheel your hands, step it back, lower halfway down, inhale up, exhale downward facing dog. Take a few breaths here and begin to regulate your breath. You probably found by holding that deep lunge and through flowing that you're starting to lose control of your breath a little bit. It's totally normal. So when we come back to our down dog, take a few moments to settle in. Your breath will be a true indicator of where you are relative to your edge. Take a deep breath here, bend your knees. Exhale, make your way to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, chair. Exhale, lean and fly. Inhale, chair. Lean and fly. Inhale, chair. And fold over. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step or hop back, lower halfway down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. 
Inhale, right leg high. Right knee to right elbow. Inhale, high. Exhale, right knee to left elbow. Inhale, high. Knee to nose, tuck and curl. Inhale, high. Step it through to low lunge. Low lunge to high. Exhale, left arm under right. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, humble warrior. Inhale up. Exhale, round. Last time, inhale up. Exhale, humble. Open to warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, reverse. Keep that deep lunge in the leg. Side angle. Last time, inhale, reverse. Cartwheel your hands. Step back. Lower halfway down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg high. Left to left. Inhale, high. Left to right. Inhale, high. Bring that knee to nose. Inhale, high. Step it through lightly. Inhale, up. Eagle your arms right under left. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, humble. Inhale, up. Exhale, round. Last time, up. Fold over. Open to warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, side angle. Last time, back. And then cartwheel your arms around. Step back, lower halfway. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath here, bend your knees. Exhale, lightly to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, chair. Lean and fly. Inhale, chair. Lean and fly. Inhale, chair. And fold over. Inhale, halfway lift. Plant your palms. Hop back. Lower halfway down. Inhale, up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg high. Right to right. Inhale, high. Right to left. Inhale, up. Knee to nose. Inhale, up. Step it through. Low lunge. Inhale, up. Left arm under right. Eagle arms. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, fold. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, fold. Inhale, up. Humble your warrior. Open to warrior two. Forward to extended side angle. Inhale, reverse. Keep flowing here with your breath. Deep breath into reverse warrior, straighten the front leg, and then flow over into triangle pose. Triangle, bend the knee, reverse, and then flow into triangle. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, triangle. Inhale, reverse, and then cartwheel the hands. Framing the foot, lowering halfway, inhaling upward facing dog, exhale downward facing dog. Let's do the left side, left leg high, left to left, 
inhale high, cross the body, left to right, inhale high, knee to nose, round and curl, inhale high, step it through, low lunge, low lunge to high lunge, right arm under left, eagle arms, inhale back bend, exhale round and curl, inhale up, Exhale, humble warrior. Inhale up. Round and curl. Release the arms. Warrior two. Extended side angle. Reverse your warrior. Extended side. Reverse your warrior. Extended side angle. To inhale, reverse. Straighten the front leg, then coming into a triangle pose. Now we'll flow triangle to reverse, straightening the front leg, opening the chest. Remembering to breathe. Last time back to cartwheel your arms around, stepping back, lowering halfway. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath here and sigh it out. <sighs> Remember to check back in with your breath. Again, if you start to find your breath becomes labored or short, that's a sign that you might be pushing a little bit past your edge. Always use your breath as your measure. So take a few deep breaths here. Again, turning our attention back inwards. Coming to a high plank, we're gonna set up to Vashistasana side plank on the left side first. So bring your left palm a little bit to the center of the mat and then pivot on the outside edges of the left foot coming into a side plank here. Holding your side plank, if you wish, you could lift and elevate a foot off Breathing here, coming back down, high plank, setting up Vashastasana, this time on the right side, same setup. Lifting our leg and breathing. Coming back, high plank, lower halfway, inhale up. So downward facing dog. Taking a deep breath in, bending the knees, floating to the top. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, planting, step or jump, lower halfway down, inhale up, exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale your right leg high, bring your right leg through to low lunge, inhale, bend your back knee, lift your chest, exhale, straighten over the front leg, inhale up, exhale, straighten. Inhale, bend and lift. Exhale, straighten. Coming to center, planting our left palm and walking our right foot to the outside edge of the mat onto the book end of the right foot. Coming down and opening into a horizon lunge. So be on the knife edges of both feet, coming into your horizon lunge. Finding a nice twist. Coming back to center, inhaling up, and opening again to horizon lunge. Come back to center, inhale up, and then open horizon lunge. Coming back to center, inhaling up, planting our palms, stepping back, lowering halfway down, inhaling upward facing dog, 
Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg high. Then slightly bring your left leg through. Inhale, bend your knee, lift your chest. Exhale, straighten. Coming back, inhaling up. Exhaling, folding over the straightened leg. Third time, inhale up. Straighten. Coming to center, planting the right palm more in the center of the mat, opening to the knife edges of each foot, opening into horizon lunge. Taking a breath here. Coming back to center. Inhale, chest up. Exhale, horizon lunge. Back to center, inhale up. Open horizon lunge. Back to center, chest up. And then step it back, lower down. Inhale up, exhale downward facing dog. Taking a deep breath here, bending your knees. And then making our way to the top of the mat, either sitting all the way through to seated with our legs straight. Inhaling our hands high, folding over, finding a nice long hamstring stretch here. Inhale, lifting your chest. Exhale, folding over. Again, being very incremental. Inhale, lifting chest. And third, last time, maybe grabbing the outside edges of our feet, folding over, trying to draw our chest forward, trying to bring our chin down to our shins if we can. Again, that might be years away. So breathing into this and slowly straightening up, making our way onto our backs, bending our knees, bringing our hands to either side of our head for a little bit of core work, planting the small of our back. So this section of our back here should be pressing down into the ground with our hands behind our head. We take a deep breath, exhale, lift, lowering and lifting with our breath, keeping our elbows nice and wide. We don't want to see our elbows. So imagine you live in a world without elbows and you just can never see them. And we're just lifting and lowering with our breath. Exhaling on the way up. Just to kind of get a few more in as we warm up our core, strengthen our belly, make sure that back is pressing down into the ground. Coming down all the way, lifting our knees and doing the same exercise this time, sitting as if we're sitting in a chair. Breathing always on the way up, keeping those elbows really, really wide. We have a few more left in us maybe. Let's go for 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Give yourself a hug. Rock from side to side. Rock back and forth. Gain enough momentum so that we can crisscross our ankles and then plant in your palms. Either step or hop back. High plank. Lower halfway down. Inhaling to upward facing dog and holding this for just a few breaths. Maybe looking over our right shoulder. Maybe looking over our left. Coming back to center. Deep breath. And then exhaling to downward facing dog. Inhaling our right leg to the sky. We're going to come into half pigeon pose on the right. So setting up our knee, checking, making sure our back leg is straight, inhaling our chest up high. And the option here, of course, is to stay and go into a king pigeon if that's in your practice. If not, take it down, recline it down, opening your palms to the sky. Take a few deep breaths into our hips here. 
kind of let go, really focusing on the psoas, which is one of our deep core muscles. In fact, it's our deepest core muscle, one that you'll never think about anymore, tied much more to the unconscious nervous system. And so if you're able to access your psoas in this stretch, you're really able to tap into some of the unconscious thoughts. So sinking in here, really letting go of any of those deep hip flexor muscles. One more deep breath in. Let it out. Now slowly start to walk your hands up. Tucking our back toes and lifting our leg gently up and move, getting some blood flow back into that joint. So feel free to move it around or we open into a scorpion dog. Coming back to center, finding downward facing dog, inhaling the left leg high and coming into half pigeon on the left. Same setup. Taking a look at our back leg, making sure it's nice and settled. And if you did king pigeon on the right, feel free to go into king pigeon on the left. Otherwise, begin to sink down into your reclined and lowered half pigeon. Taking some deep breaths into the hips. The idea here, again, is to let go of any tension and any support that that deep hip girdle does for you. It's what keeps you standing. It's what keeps you balanced. And it doesn't even know that it has the option to let go. It's completely robotic and programmed. So this is where you need to tap into that deep program and let it relax. So sinking into our breath a little, squaring off our hips. Taking one deep breath in, and then making our way back up to our hands, reversing out as we came in, tucking the back toe, lifting our knee, and lightly and gently taking that leg up to the sky giving it a little wiggle, opening up to a scorpion if you did on the other side, and then coming back to center, coming to high plank, lowering all the way down to our belly, placing the tops of our feet down onto the ground, pressing our toenails into the ground. We're going to inhale, lift our chest, Exhale, lower down. More inhale, lifting chest. Little to no weight in the hands. Lowering down. Last time, up. Lift the hands off the ground. Exhale, stay lifted. One more inhale, lift your chest. Lower down. From here, pressing up onto our knees, coming into a reverse pose here. Coming all the way back down to our bellies. Interlacing our hands behind our back. Same setup for Cobra, so toenails pressing down. Inhale, lifting the chest. Pressing the knuckles back, lowering down. Inhaling up. Exhaling down. Third time up. Hold it here. Exhale. Inhale higher. And lower down. Release the arms. Bring them on either side underneath your shoulders. And again, pressing up into our child's pose. Taking a deep breath here. And again, reaching forward, lowering down all the way. Bending our knees, 
reaching back, grabbing either our ankles or the tops of our feet, rolling our shoulders back, inhaling, lifting our chest, exhale, kicking into our feet, staying up, inhale up again, exhale, kick, last one, inhale up, exhale, kick, take a deep breath here, and then lower down, looking to the right, keeping our knees bent, and windshield wipering them from side to side, releasing any of the tension that we had in our spine. Coming back to center, looking forward, pressing up back to our heels, then making our way to our backs. So comfortably and in control, lower down one vertebrae at a time, all the way down onto your back, bringing your knees to your chest, giving yourself a big, big squeeze, sending your knees to the right and your gaze over your left shoulder, taking a deep breath here. Take a few deep body breaths, sending your breath all the way down to your hips, coming back to center, big hug, sending your legs over to the left, looking over your right shoulder as you twist and breathe. And close your eyes. Begin to turn your attention back inward. Coming back to center, giving yourself a squeeze, and sending ourselves up into a shoulder stand. So keep in mind with shoulder stand, it's important that we send our gaze up. Don't look from side to side. A few breaths in shoulder stand. And then from here, if it's in your practice, lower down into a plow pose, trying to bring your feet to the ground behind you, interlacing your arms and reaching them forward. Trying to press your knuckles so that they press on the ground. Again, your gaze up to the sky. Finding support. Back up into shoulder stand, knees to chest, roll down one vertebrae at a time. Give yourself one last big hug, bring your forehead to your knees, take a deep breath here as you tighten up into as tight a ball as you can. Take one deep breath in and at the top hold it. Pressing your knees closer to your chest, holding that breath at the top and releasing into your final relaxation, Shavasana. Now take as much time as you need in Shavasana. Highly encourage you to spend at least three to five minutes here, deep breathing and letting go. And then when you complete your Shavasana, make your way onto a comfortable seated position, bringing our hands to heart center, taking a deep breath as we close our eyes, bringing our thumbs to our third eye center, and ending our practice by saying namaste. Namaste. Thank you.